Before examining the inguinal region for hernia or lymph nodes, you have to mark the landmarks. And landmarks are anterior spheric ilic spine or pubic symphysis. The, the line joining anterior superior ilic spine and pubic symphysis is inguinal line and mid of this point mid of this point point is mid inguinal point and the significance of mid inguinal point is that the femoral artery crosses from here down into thigh and for, pal for palpation of inguinal lymph nodes you have to palpate along the femoral artery you have to make rolling movements like this now now that you have defined the root of femoral artery so you examine inguinal lymph nodes the vertical group in this way and horizontal group in this way one the other landmarks in inguinal region are anterior superior, superior iliac spine and pubic tubercle so this is the point of attachment of external oblique epineurosis which has a triangular defect here making superficial inguinal ring then where is the deep inguinal ring this is inguinal ligament, anterior spheric ilic spine and pubic tubercle. To these two points attaches the uh, external oblique epineurosis and then it curves, rolls inward. So external oblique epineurosis comes down, attaches to the ASIS and pubic tubercle and then it rolls inward making the trough of inguinal canal so midpoint of this area would be this is inguinal ligament this is and this trough makes the inguinal ligament and midpoint of this is midpoint of inguinal ligament and the significance of midpoint of inguinal ligament is that the deep ring lies here so deep ring here superficial ring here this is the inguinal canal from deep to superficial ring uh, an indirect inguinal hernia protrudes from the abdomen comes out from the deep inguinal ring traverses in the inguinal canal and then exits from the superficial inguinal ring and goes into scrotum this is the indirect, indirect root and that's why it's called indir indirect inguinal hernia whereas a direct inguinal hernia protrudes through Hasselbeck's triangle so the medial border of Hasselbeck triangle is formed by the lateral border of rectus abdominis muscle lateral border is of the Hasselbeck's triangle is formed by in inferior epigastric vessels and base is formed by inguinal ligament. inguinal ligament so as hernia protrudes directly from the Hasselbeck's triangle this is called direct inguinal hernia and add, as it protrudes directly from the Hasselbeck's triangle it usually has a globular shape whereas uh, in whereas indirect inguinal hernia as an oblo oblong shape.